Coming up in ViewCast, she's juggling her studies and life as a sci-fi author. Meet writing phenom, Kat Zhang. Surratt and Rand are new and improved. See the renovations. And which women are more at risk for heart attacks? Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. Before she was even a teenager, Kat Zhang knew she would be an author. Today, the Vanderbilt senior is celebrating the release of her first novel, and she's working on another. Our parents believed Addie was the dominant soul. She could move us left when I wanted to go right, cry no when I wanted so desperately to say yes. As time passed, I grew weaker while her control increased. In her debut novel, What's Left of Me, Vanderbilt senior Kat Zhang takes us into a sci-fi world where two souls are born into one body, each depending on each other while also struggling for control. Addie and I were born into the same body, our souls entwined before we gasped our very first breath. One of us was supposed to fade away. This English major from Marietta, Georgia may not have two souls, but she's certainly juggling two lives as a Vanderbilt student and an author. Her book is flying off shelves in the U.S. and almost a dozen other countries. It's been great to go online and know so many other people out there and just connect with people like all over the world. Zhang says she always knew she'd be a novelist. Around the age of around 11 or 12, I decided one day I'm going to grow up and publish a book. And back then I figured it'd only take a year or two, top. So publish at 14, that was my dream. But it took a lot longer than that. But I think it's just in the end, I've always been really obsessed with inventing worlds and inventing characters. She started writing What's Left of Me in high school and completed it her first year at Vanderbilt. By sophomore year, Zhang sold not only the first book, but a trilogy. And her Vanderbilt education is helping. The creative writing program here is just really good. I took a neuro class, I think, in my sophomore year. I used to take a lot of biology and chemistry. And even stuff that you don't think sort of contributes to writing. I feel like writing is one of those things where like everything you go through and everything you learn really helps you become a better writer. And so it's just, I don't know, I feel like the two halves of my life really aren't as separate as people think they are. Her professors are supporting her and the novel. I think Kat is a gifted and determined writer. And there was a book that spoke, spoke to me a couple generations removed from my granddaughter and my granddaughter. So I think it has wide appeal for that reason. It, it connected with both of us very effectively. Zhang is now working on the rest of the hybrid trilogy, finishing her senior year and applying to graduate programs with the goal of balancing writing and teaching. It's not like once you get published, suddenly you know exactly what you're doing. It's still something that you learn very much on the job, and even now I feel like I'm a better writer than I was before, but there's so, so much more to learn. It's one of those things where the more you know, the more you realize you don't know, and so you just keep going forward. I just finished reading her book, and it's fantastic. You can read more about Zhang on vanderbilt.edu and follow her blog and Twitter feed through her website, katzangwriter.com. Explore Vanderbilt's creative writing program at vanderbilt.edu slash creative writing. Important health news for women. A new Vanderbilt study finds women who go through early menopause are more likely to have a heart attack or stroke. Early menopause is considered around age 45. Dr. Melissa Wellen says there are things all women can take from this. The number one killer of women is cardiovascular disease being heart disease and stroke. And so all women should be paying attention to this risk and doing the things that there is evidence to support, um, helping them prevent the development of these diseases like controlling their blood pressure, monitoring their blood pressure, keeping their cholesterol in check, exercising, losing weight, doing all those things they're supposed to do. Read more about the study on vanderbilt.edu. Search early menopause. We know how amazing Vanderbilt's Life Flight helicopter is. Now Vanderbilt is offering a new tool to help with big emergencies. This mobile emergency command and communication bus is now available from Vanderbilt Life Flight, free of charge to any hospital or agency to help in a crisis. And the Life Flight helicopter may be black and gold, but in October, the nurses and pilots are going pink. 
It's all in honor of breast cancer awareness. Learn more about LifeLight on VanderbiltHealth.com slash LifeLight. It seems like Vanderbilt has been on a renovation explosion lately. Check out the improvements to Surratt Student Center and the Rand Dining Facilities. New areas include an arts and creative engagement wing for student groups, new performance areas and retail space. What I'm most excited about is the renovated Rand Dining Area. It offers more food choices and more seating. Check out the former bookstore space. It's now the new Rand Lounge, with event space and a new dining option called Pie and Leaf. See more of the improvements on Vanderbilt.edu. Search Surratt. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.